Hello lovelies, hello, hello, hello. Well tonight, as it's the beginning of May, I know it's not the first or anything, but we're into the beginning of May. Hasn't this year gone so quickly so far? Who's, I mean, didn't Christmas feel like it was, what, a few weeks ago? And here we are nearly mid-year. I was thinking about that and talking about it with John yesterday. I can't believe how the time this year has gone so quickly, quicker than last year, yet last year went very quick too. So it's, um, I think we're going to fly through this year and, and anytime soon it's going to be Christmas coming. So uh, don't hate me for saying that, but I think that's, that's how it's going to be for us because there is going to be so much that's going to unfold this year. We're already getting a lot of self-realizations because we've got time to um, actually go within and suss uh, things out about our lives and everything. So anyway, tonight I'm doing a energy, energy report and reading for May. Now we're starting off with week one. I've pulled, pulled some cards. I've got other cards laid out here. Now week one, which is now of course, we're being guided to still spend time doing what you like to do. So relaxation, doing things for yourself. Um, but you're also being guided in this week to search within for your truth. Because there's so much information flying around out there of what is going on. But you're being guided to go within and search for your truth. Now, it's not just your truth about what's going on around the planet. It's actually your truth about what you would like to do with your life. How you would like your life to move forward once we all start coming back out of isolation. And I know that many of you are starting to come out now already. But we are still in level three here in New Zealand, so we were allowed to make our bubble a little bit bigger, but not uh, not too big. It's actually very much like level four. It's just that it's, uh, businesses allowed to, or certain businesses are allowed to open and get back, so it's, so the economy can get back going again. So spend this time searching for your truth. What would you like to do with your life? Because I want you to go deep with this because when we go back to, and I'm not going to say normal because it's not going to be a normal, we have to go back from this shutdown with our minds and our consciousness and our hearts wide open. Now, when I say that, I mean, we don't want to go back to how it was before, do we? Because we're now more enlightened. We want to look after the planet more. So we have to go back into uh, our new normal in a different way. So it's being about more mindful about how we go about our daily lives. So this is why I'm saying to you, go within and look for your truth. What is your truth about how you would like to live your life and make a difference to yourself, to your immediate family, if, you're, if you've got an immediate family, and to your future and the future of the earth. Now we've all given, been given this chance to reset a lot of things in our personal lives, but also around the planet. What can we do to make a difference? So this is why these cards have come out. It's Luxuriate has come out first, and that's still spending time doing things that you like and resting, having the free time, which we've got at the moment. 
clarity and inner truth. So this is what I've been guided to say. That really look within about who you are and how you would like to come out of this. This is a time for planning of the future. And to celebrate how you are going to move forward. It's, it really is like an internal celebration because once you start, and I'm sure that you've already been doing a lot of inner work, but if you go deeper still and actually decide within yourself now about the changes you're going to make in how you live, so your wastage, your household wastage and all sorts of other things. What you would like to do. I mean, you might you might be you might work in the city and you might drive to work. There might be an opportunity now for you to perhaps not drive to work and do things differently. Let's make this change now. So you might be able to perhaps catch the bus or there might be a train near you. You might even be able to walk. So it's all about us making those decisions within ourselves now about how we're going to move forward as things develop, because there's a lot more that's going to develop. So that's week one. This is now. Week two. Now, week two is all about relationships. So week two is about your immediate relationships with your partner, with your family. Uh, there's going to be some ups and downs because some emotions are going to be, or nerves in, for some, are going to be frayed. There's going to be a lot of emotional energy in week two. So all sorts, what I'm picking up is there's going to be all sorts going around in your mind about, you know, when other things unfold around you. And it might be something simple, like somebody says something that, that because you're really sensitive, you've taken it the wrong way or you take it the wrong way or it brings back memories from the past. Um, and um, a lot of stuff's going to be coming up to be released. Remember, when it comes up, it's coming up to be released. So you're going to find out things in your relationships that perhaps you hadn't realised. So it's like epiphanies and light bulb moments and things like that are going to be going off in week two. Now, week two, on the 7th of May, we have the powerful supermoon and lots of planetary alignments going on. So it's going to be a week of self-reflection. So it's a little bit leading on from week one, but it's more about relationships, emotions, ties to people, uh, uh, realizations about coming, bringing your energy back into yourself and be being more of a sovereign being. And by doing that, you actually free those people that are around you up to be able to live their lives the way that they would like to too. So I'm not talking about splitting up or anything like that. I'm actually talking about just becoming, bringing your energy back into you and allowing others to unfold and heal and live and make their own decisions. So it's about releasing control from others, but also about going within and the polarities that are going to be going on within yourself. So it's about emotions. Of course, with the moon, we're going to feel that super moon. The earth is also going to be feeling it. So there will be ups and downs with the earth. There will be movement with the earth as well. So there really is going to be a lot of emotions up and down in week two. Personally, in your relationships 
and further afield for the planet. And we're going to be seeing some stuff coming out around the planet, politics and things like that. Uh, and some of it might be quite surprising. So, first and foremost, I want to talk about soulmates in week two, because this is all about relationships. Your soulmate, your true, utter and true soulmate is your soul. Your soul is your mate. Your soul is your compass. Your soul, when you connect to it, will help you lead you to lead you down this path, this journey, this life. It literally is like an internal compass. So your soul, first and foremost, is your mate. So again, it's about connecting into your soul. And the more you clear up those emotions that come up, the more clarity and clearness you will have to connect to your soul. So your first and foremost, your soul mate is you, your soul. Then you've got your soul mates, your partner. Then you've got your soul family. And that's the people around you. That's your family members, your friends, people you might bump into and have a conversation with. Somebody you might really resonate with that you see online can be a soulmate or part of your soul family. You've got to remember that or understand that this soul that's within you is a tiny particle of a whole whole soul if you like to call it that and there's lots of those tiny particles that are all living lives living off planet living on planet in other bodies so they're part you're part of the same soul energy or soul collective but remember as a human your first soul mate is your soul and then it extends out to your soulmate, your actual uh, partner. Uh, and, and again, your soulmates or your soul family, the family that are around you, that's your children, your parents, your aunties, uncles, uh, your friends, acquaintances. And like I said, even people that you resonate with that you may see online or uh, uh, on, the, on the films, TV, whatever it is. Be feeling that strong connection. Now, when John and I first met, we both had that connection. It was the moment we looked into each other's eyes that we knew we'd no we knew each other, but we'd never actually physically met, but we knew we knew each other. And it's lucky. So not everybody gets that when they meet their soulmate. But, so we feel very blessed to have got that, but lots of people do get it too. So yes, emotional ties to people and really sussing out yourself, becoming, I mean, things are going to unfold around you and it's all to do with emotions uh, that will help you realise things about yourself, also realise things about other people, uh, to help you understand where you're at and where you want to go. Now a firm has come out with this, so it, you've got to remember that you come bringing it back to you, your soul, you are here for you foremost. So a, an a affirmation has come out with week two. And this is the affirmation. It's easy, simple. I am successful in all that I do. So it's about believing in yourself, connecting to your own soul and becoming a mate to yourself. Become your own best friend. Again, things are going to come up which are going to make you question things. 
But instead of reacting, think to yourself, okay, why has this come up? It could be a thought. It could be something that unfolds around you with family members or yourself. Why is this happening? What can I learn from it? Has this come up because it needs healing and I need to let it go? So ask yourself questions. If something happens in your immediate circle that sends you into anxiety or a panic, focus on your breath. Focus on your breath. If you find yourself a lot of anger coming up, again, don't react. Take a deep breath. Okay, why is this coming up? Is it coming up because I need to let it go? I don't need to really go into the why, the what for, but it's coming up for a reason. This, whatever's happened around me, is just a trigger point, showing me that there is still some healing or some uh, emotion that needs to come out. So that's week two. Remember that full moon. It's going to be a biggie. Week three. Now this is all about, again, this is very much about going within. Your own spirit, your own light, your own soul. Meditating with yourself. You've had all these weeks now of, yes, connecting with family and doing the, all the family stuff and it's been beautiful um, and and or if you've been on your own perhaps you've got on with things around the house and you've got things done which is fantastic but now it really is time to go within. So before we fully step out and get back to a new normal, spend this time, May, Going within, meditating, expanding yourself, expanding your consciousness, helping yourself to wake up, helping yourself to heal if there's any healing. And I don't mean just physically, I mean emotionally, because it's emotional stuff that can make blockages get in the way of us actually waking up or moving forward in life. And... Whatever has come out in the physical always first starts in the emotional. It's just the way it is. Whatever comes out in the physical body starts in the emotional body. So the more we clear the inner turmoil, the inner emotions, the better for us. So... It's amazing. The cards I've got for the week three are absolutely amazing. I've got the magician in the tarot pack. I've got spirit and I've got meditation. So it's all to do with going within. Finding out who you are. So meditate first. Spend time meditating because that will actually help you go in. Set the intention before you meditate. Even if it's just a music, you don't need to do a guided one. But set the intention that you're going to go in within yourself, allow your imagination to open, go travelling to your starseed self, to your soul self, to who you are, maybe who you are on many lives. Because every single lifetime you've led, you have learnt so much. And all that knowledge and wisdom is held within your multidimensional self, which you are right now, it's opening up now. You have no choice in that matter. You are opening. You are awakening. And all that knowledge and wisdom that you've learned through many, many lifetimes, you can tap into it now. So the magician means you've got all the tools. You are awakening, definitely. You've got all the tools you need. You've got the wisdom. You've got the knowledge. And spirit represents connecting into your guides. Connecting into your higher self. Really going within. Finding out who you truly are. 
not who you've been led to believe, not who someone else has told you that you should be like this or you should be like that. It's time to drop all that now. You're maturing as a human being. Doesn't matter whether you are 18 watching this or whether you are 68 watching this. As a human being, you are maturing. And I don't mean in a human way. You are maturing in a spiritual way, in a multidimensional way. Everything within you is opening up to become full expansion of who you are on a soul level. So that's week three. Meditate, go within. Spirit, your spirit, your higher self has a lot of information and wisdom to share with you. So it's up to you to tap into it and listen. Whether you do it through meditation, automatic writing, just sitting in your own power and connecting to your higher self and allowing the information to come through. Speaking in a recorder, so channeling the information, whatever it is for you. Experiment if you're not sure. Have a go at doing it all. So week four. Again, week four, it's about going within again. Oh my goodness, um, May is such a internal month. But there's also going to be a lot happening externally too. So this is more about saying goodbye to the old you. So this really is going to be an activation month. So grief has come out. So I'm actually going to read what the card says. Heartache has the ability to consume you. Forgiving is not forgetting, but finding a different way to deal with life. Acknowledge and honour your feelings. So find a different way to deal with life. This is, this, this is about releasing the old your old habits, your old beliefs, your old ways of being and allow the new to come through. Going within. Clear your mind and stop thinking. And listen to the silence within. Listen to your heart. Listen to your higher self. Only then will you hear your real truth. So it's really about saying goodbye to the old, welcoming in the new, the new you. So each week rolls on really to the other. And then the Queen of Pentacles has come out. So the Queen of Pentacles represents someone who actually has everything they need materially. And it's like they've, hold, they've, they've also had epiphanies and they're holding something they've always wanted. So it's almost like you're now holding a new you. You've hold, you're holding, imagine it like a Christmas present that you've always wanted. And here it is. And you're holding it. It is you. And this card also represents 
connection to the earth, so keep grounded. When you're expanding like this, so it's going to be a lot of activations this month, a huge amount of activations this month, and a huge amount of clearing and releasing. So as you go through this, keep grounded. Walk on the earth. If you're able to get near a beach, walk on the beach. Put your feet in the sea. But walk on the earth. Connect with a tree even. Sit down underneath a tree. Keep grounded as we go through this. There is so much growth coming. I mean, this is such a beautiful card. And, and even though it's the Queen of Pentacles, this can represent all of you. So for the males that are listening to this, this is your more intuitive side coming out. And for the ladies that are listening to this, this is about you really connecting with your intuition, your emotions, feeling the planet, feeling the cosmos, feeling who you are, and feeling and knowing who you truly are. So remember that Christmas present. It's like you found something. This Christmas present that you've got is something you've always wanted. And it's you. So that is week four. So many activations, clearing of a healing clearing, clearing of old emotions. And each time we clear out any old emotions, we actually are making space for all this knowledge and wisdom to come up. This is a real activation month. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited for all of you. I'm also excited to see what unfolds here. I have made the decision I am going to do a meditation every day for myself. So whatever way it comes, I'm going to be meditating every day. Often I don't get the chance because I'm quite busy. So three cards actually fell out. So journey has come out first. Relax and take a break. You are on the right path. Take time to rest before making any big decisions. You are exactly where you are meant to be right now. So everything is unfolding in perfect time and space for you. Whether it feels like it or not, it is. So temperance has also come out. You've been down such a long road to reach this point and you're unsure about how to move forward and that's fine. There are changes coming. For some there will be a new home, for some there will be a change of work. Um, you will get the feeling with inside that you want to make new changes. This is all about the newness coming out and the connection to self and the understanding more about what you want to do with your life. Again, remember your emotions. It's important to try and keep them balanced. Don't make any hasty decisions. Allow things to unfold. Test the waters if you need to. But there's some good stuff coming. You're going to want to feel like you want to make moves. That you want things to move forward. That you may want to move house. That you may want to move jobs and try and do something different. That's all fine. But allow things to unfold naturally. This is a time of really connecting deeply with yourself. So I'm going to leave that with you. Much love to you all. If you are wanting a more in-depth personal reading, then you know where to find me. Um, please, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click on the little bell and you will get notifications of when I put videos up. And at the moment, not that it's going to last forever because it probably won't, uh, but at the moment I'm putting them up every day. So 
I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow yet. I will see what unfolds during the day for me. So I wish you so much love. Uh, from my heart to yours, have a wonderful day. Can uh, Have a wonderful month connecting with yourself and all that beautiful, beautiful energy and frequency and information and knowledge and wisdom that you have inside. Connecting to your own soul and to all the souls around you. Much love. Bye for now. Bye.